Konnichiwa Blender Maniacs! In this video, we're gonna learn the art of origami, also known as paper folding. Yay! So we're gonna see how to recreate that origami butterfly that you saw at the beginning of the video and how to be able to animate it. Let's get right to it. Delete the default cube. X, delete, goodbye. And then hit Shift A, add in a plane. Now, for this origami, we're gonna do a simple origami butterfly fold. However, you could go as advanced or as crazy as you want, but I'll show you the basic techniques. We're gonna be using shape keys doing this, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, let's get right to it. If you guys have ever wanted to fold origami, this is the place to do it in 3D. All right, with this plane selected, we're gonna hit tab to go into edit mode, right click, subdivide, and then we want to create the cuts where this paper or this post-it note, I guess, is going to fold. So right here and right here. And then we need some diagonal cuts. Hitting the K tool, the K key to bring up the knife tool. We're going to left click right here. Drag it all the way across to the other side. Left click and hit enter to cut a diagonal cut in the mesh. And then do the same for the other side. K, left click on that dot. And then left click on the other one up here, there, and hit enter. Now one thing you want to make sure is make sure that you don't have any doubles in your mesh because sometimes the knife tool goes like right on the edge of the vertex and doesn't actually go on it and then you got doubles and you need to merge them. Alright, so we got this shape right here. Now what we want to do is with the mesh selected, go to the mesh data and we're going to go to shape keys. Click the plus icon to add a new shape key, and this will be the basis shape key. And this will basically be how the mesh is originally, which is this shape right here. Then we're going to click the plus icon, create a new shape key, and increase the value to 1. And now we're going to make our first fold. So our first fold, no, I'm kidding. That's not our first fold. Our first fold, we need to select the center right there, G, Z, and bring it up. And boom, we got an origami pyramid. But that's not what we're going for, so let's continue. Selecting these two vertices here, S, X, scale them on the X axis. And then left click and box select these, G, Y, and bring them down. And bring these ones up like so. And so now, if we go into object mode, you can see that if we increase this or decrease it, it does that shape key. How cool is that? So shape keys are basically allow you to animate vertex movements or mesh movement under the actual object. All right, sweet. We need our second origami fold now. With this value still at one, we're just gonna hit the plus icon, add a new shape key, and increase this value to one. Then on this shape key, hit tab to go into edit mode, seven to go into top view, and we need to add in two new knife cuts. So right here, hit the, hit the K key, we're going to draw one from right here all the way up to here and make sure that it's straight or somewhat straight and then hit enter and then do the same thing on the other side right here, right there and hit enter. Now it's important that you do not move these vertices. Otherwise, for example, if you edge slide them, do not edge slide them. Otherwise, it's going to mess up your whole origami fold and you have to start from scratch. So now with these selected or with these cut in, just hit tab to go into object mode. You can see it's still like that. But on shape key, on shape key number two with the value of one, we're going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And we're going to select this vertex here and hit one, one to go into front view. Then we're going to grab this vertex and bring it up here next to the Z axis. And the same thing with the other one, bring it and bring it to the Z axis there. So we got this shape right here. And now if we go into object mode, tab, check it out. It's folding like so. And now you could just adjust it by hitting tab to go back into edit mode. You can see if we grab both of these and hit G and Z and bring it up, it will bring it up higher here. So let's make sure that it sticks out above the triangle shape a little bit there. So I'm going to bring it up higher. And then if you go into edit mode and hit G, Y, if you bring it out on the Y axis like this, you will see it will bring it out further that way. And if you bring it closer to this point right here or behind it, it will go back the opposite way. So we want it just slightly past this point on the Y axis so that it's something like that. And then right here down on these ones, we want to scale these down as well. I'm going to select these three vertices, SX, and scale these in 
so that you can see what that does right there. It kind of brings it in nicely. All right, look at that. And now if we bring this value up and down, we got that fold right there. How cool is that? I never thought I would be folding origami in Blender. I'll be honest with you guys. All right, let's add a new shape key plus sign right here. Bring this value to one and we will do our last fold right here. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. Seven to go into top view and we need to add in one last cut right here. Again, the trusty knife tool with the K, K key. And we're just going to draw in a cut from here all the way across like that. And then left click and enter. All right, on this shape key number three, we're going to go ahead and select these two vertices here. And basically we want the wings or the, uh, the triangles right here to go up a little bit and also back. So right here, if we hit control one to go on the opposite side and hit GZ, you can see if we bring it up, if we go back into object mode, it's basically, it's basically bringing the wings back. So I'm going to exaggerate this a lot. If I bring it up a lot, you can see it brings them way back. And if I bring them down, it brings it not so back. And then to bring them up, you can see it's all twisted around weirdly because, again, we have so many shape keys in here that now up is going backwards and forwards is going down, etc. So you just have to kind of play around with it. And now if we want them to go up this way, we just have to hit G, Y, and bring this forward a little bit, and you can see that they start to go up. Again, I'm going to exaggerate this, and you can see that they're really high like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up slightly. And there we have it. Maybe a little bit more. All right, cool. And there we go. We have our origami fold. How cool is that? All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to add in some armatures to our butterfly here so that it can actually flap its wings. All right, with this selected, I'm going to hit G, Z, and bring it up above the grid floor. And then Shift S, cursor to selected so that the, the cursor is right there on the origin point. Then Shift A, add in an armature. And with this armature, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to front view, one on the numpad. And then hit tab to go into edit mode. With this armature selected, Shift D, copy it, R90, and rotate it. And just place it right here and right there. Then select it, select the center one again, Shift D, R90, negative, and do the same thing on the other side because it has two wings and we want both of them flapping, or I would hope so. All right, then in top view, seven, let's just select both of these, G, Y, and bring them to the, uh, the tip of the wings there. Cool. Now select the butterfly, shift select the armature, control P with empty groups. And now that we have it with empty groups, we will see that with the butterfly selected, we have all these vertex groups here. And we still have the shape keys as well. Now making sure that you're on the basis shape key, we're going to go ahead and assign these different vertices to these different bones. Hitting tab to go into edit mode, you can see that we have two ways to do this. We could select these vertices and assign them to these bones and hope that somehow it's the correct body part of the butterfly. And trust me, it's a little tricky that way. So what we're going to do is just select this option right here, which allows for you to see your mesh in the shape key view without it going back into a plane. Now, we want to see this bone right here is bone 001. So we're going to select all the bones right here. So these three right here, these three faces, and go to bone 001 and click assign. Then on the other side, select these three faces right here. So the faces of the wing and go to bone 002 and click assign as well. And now check it out. If we go to pose mode of our armature and hit RZ, it flaps its wings. How beautiful is that? Sweet. Now, one other thing we need to do is assign all the rest of the vertices to the body. Because right now, if we select the body, nothing happens. And so, yeah, that's not good. First, hitting tab to go into edit mode. Let's select both of the wings in edit mode. Shift select the body, control P, and keep the offset. And now you will see that 
without the body assigned or the body vertices assigned to the body bone, it does not look like proper origami. Actually, it's pretty demonic. So let's fix that. Selecting the mesh, hit tab to go into edit mode. We're going to go to bone 002, click select. Go to bone 001, click select. So it selects all the vertices of the wings. And then hit control I to invert the selection. Go to bone, the first bone, and click assign. And now if we go to the body bone, you can see that, look at that, it moves the whole butterfly. And then if we rotate these on the Z axis, it rotates them. Sweet. And the best part, if we go to object mode, select our origami, and go to the shape keys, bring these to zero, shape key number three to zero, bring shape key number two to zero, and then bring shape key number one to zero as well. Look at that. How cool is that? Super cool. I had to say that, guys. It's like my signature line. All right, so let's animate this quickly on frame one. With key one, we're going to go to the value, hit the I key, then go to frame 20, and bring this all the way to a value of one, and hit the I key over the value of one. Go to key number two, and on frame 20, value of zero, hit the I key to insert a keyframe for that. And go to frame 40, and bring this value to one, and again, insert a keyframe. On key three, insert a keyframe of value of zero at frame 40, and go to frame 60, and insert a keyframe of value of one at 60. And now if we play this, Sweet, origami madness. And now we could animate the bones themselves, hitting control tab in pose mode. Let's split the viewport and let's do a quick animation of this. All right, with the center bone selected on frame 60, I'm gonna hit I, location, rotation, scale. Go to frame 75, which should be a nice, good fall. We're gonna hit R and rotate it so that's fallen over right there. Hit I, location, rotation, scale. Beautiful. And I'm going to select the wings right here. Hit I, rotation, insert a rotation keyframe. Go to frame 80 right there. And with these wings selected, I'm going to hit R, Y, bring it up. Select this one, R, Y, bring it up. And then select both of them. Hit maybe make this one a little bit less. Select both of them and hit I, Rotation. And now if we go over here to the Graph Editor, we can expand this beautiful Graph Editor. And on Bone 001, let's go to Bone 001, X Rotation. You can see that the X Rotation has a line right there. And of course, we need to add an, one more keyframe. So with both wings selected, select this keyframe at the beginning right here on frame 65 or 75 and hit Shift D and bring it to frame 85, like that, so that we have down, up, down. And now with this axis selected, hit the N key, go to modifiers, go to add modifiers, cycles, and we're gonna put that start frame at frame 75. So we're gonna put the start frame, we're gonna select restrict frame range, and the start frame will be frame 75, because we only want it to start at frame 75 and increase the end frame to whatever you want. With the other wing as well, so bone 002, go to the X rotation, add modifier cycles, and restrict the frame range as well, start frame 75, and put the end frame to infinity. And let's see what that gives us. Shift left arrow to go back to frame one, and hit the space bar, and let's see this whole feng shui of paper folding. How cool is that? Okay, I said it twice in this video, but super awesome. I'm going to put the end frame to 1450, and there we go. That is how we do origami, a.k.a. paper folding in Blender. Now, you can do however many folds you want. Of course, it's going to get more and more tricky and complicated the more folds or the more difficult the folds, but go ahead, have fun with it. It's absolutely fun and amazing to do this in Blender. All right, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel. I post almost daily new tutorials. Check out the community at BlenderMania3.com. Appreciate you. I will see you in the next video. Make sure to hit that like button. Ciao for now. Au revoir.